what does Mr. Stanford want now? Uh, do we have another meeting? I don't know. Something about wearing gloves and washing our hands when we're cooking or making sandwiches. I mean, it's always something. Uh, we don't need to wear the gloves. Little germs never killed anyone, and they're actually good for you, building up immune system. Well, I don't know about that. There are a lot of dangerous things in this world. It would, taking universal precautions is a good idea. Better safe than sorry. Oh, uh, better safe than sorry. Who the hell are you, <laughs> Captain Safe Food? No, but you should be more concerned about your food safety habits. I'm safe. I mean, what if I dropped a pork chop on the floor before serving it to a guest? Did they get sick? probably tasted better and little miss brewster never suspected that her daily split pea soup had more than split peas more like spit peas from that slobbering old geezer we got working with us at the old folks home jake that's awful it's not funny I mean, look who's serious all of a sudden you can't tell me that you have never served a customer something from the floor or during a rush hour you just forgot to wash your hands after you pissed. I have never done such a thing. We could get sued for such negligence. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, what about that irate bastard the other night? You remember he was all mad about his dinner being wrong and you didn't just want to flick a booger into his burger? Hell no, I had no desire to make a booger burger. You're sickening. Well, I think the safety shit is for the birds. Well, we still have to follow the rules. Oh, is that the phone ringing? Yeah, um, I'll get it. It's probably Mr. Sanford telling us to hurry our asses down to the meeting room. Yeah. Okay. Man, you look like you lost your best friend. Isaac. Um, that was my dad on the phone. He told me that my mother is in the hospital and fighting for her life. What? My goodness, what happened? Apparently, they went to a uh, restaurant and uh, she got food poisoning because it was an unclean environment. And the restaurant was under investigation. My parents didn't know that. God, that's my mom. Jake, get a hold of yourself. You have to be strong at a time like this. Strong? I, my mom could die because some stupid idiot didn't care about the guests to be safe. I mean, I don't understand how... No, I know exactly. I'm, I'm one of those idiots. Man, I should be in that hospital bed. <laughs> I'm no better than the guys who are putting her life in danger. Jake, don't be so hard on yourself. Not being hard enough. A few minutes ago, I didn't give a damn about food safety, and now it hit home, and I don't know how to handle it. I, what do I do now? The first thing is to go to see your mother to make sure she's okay. Then we'll talk about how you can be more serious about our customers' safety. Now go. Your mom needs you. Thank you. I probably would have done something drastic if you weren't here. My God, I just pray that I haven't caused anyone else to get food poisoning if because I was unclean or unsafe. Oh God, I would never forgive myself. 